Murray Gell-Mann, one of the most brilliant minds of 20th century physics, was born on September 15, 1929, in New York City. A child prodigy with a voracious intellectual appetite, he entered Yale University at age 15 and earned a PhD from MIT by 21. While his interests ranged from linguistics to archaeology, it was in theoretical physics that he left his deepest mark, revolutionizing how we understand the fundamental structure of matter. In the early 1960s, particle physics was in chaos. Experimentalists had discovered a bewildering zoo of subatomic particles, pions, kaons, baryons, whose relationships were unclear. Physicists referred to it as the particle jungle. Gelman brought order to this chaos through what he called the Eightfold Way, a classification scheme inspired partly by the symmetrical patterns found in Eastern philosophy. This elegant framework grouped particles according to their properties, revealing a deeper symmetry in nature. But Gelman's most groundbreaking insight came in 1964 when he proposed that all known hadrons, particles like protons and neutrons, were composed of even more fundamental entities quarks. He suggested three types, up, down, and strange. Though initially seen as mathematical abstractions, these quarks became central to the standard model of particle physics. Gelman coined the term quark from a line in James Joyce's Finnegan's Wake, three quarks for Mustermark. The choice reflected both his love for literature and his sense of scientific playfulness. Quarks explained the observed patterns in particle behavior and properties. Later discoveries confirmed the existence of six quark flavors, up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom, and experiments in deep inelastic scattering at SLARC in the late 1960s and early 1970s provided strong evidence for their physical reality. Gelman received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1969 for his contributions to the classification and understanding of elementary particles and their interactions. Yet, his legacy extended beyond physics. He was a founder of the Santa Fe Institute, where he advocated for the study of complex adaptive systems spanning biology, economics, and culture. Gelman remained a polymath throughout his life, combining scientific rigor with intellectual curiosity across disciplines. His work on quarks didn't just solve a scientific puzzle, it revealed a hidden simplicity in the seeming chaos of the universe, a signature of his genius. He died in 2019, but the elegance of his theories continues to shape modern physics.